Welcome back guys, Resident Evil Village was added to GeForce now just yesterday. FC24 is now available on xCloud and you can play Elden Ring Shadow of Earth 3 expansion using Postride. I'll be trying out all of these games on my Xiaomi Pad 6. I'll kick things off with Resident Evil Village. We'll be running it using the free version of GeForce now, their Europe-based server. I'm from India, so there will be some input delay as I'll be using the Europe-based server of GeForce now. Quickly show you the stream settings. Max bitrate auto resolution 1920 by 1200 pixels, 16 to 10 aspect ratio, frame rate 60. Proton VPN is running in the background. Even the demo of Resident Evil Village is available on GeForce now. I actually own the Steam version of the game, so I'll just run it. Play. Using the free tier, so there will be a waiting queue. Only 4 gamers are ahead of me. Game should start soon. We are in. Tap on accept. I'll just disconnect from the VPN. I was actually connected to Proton VPN's Poland based server. Enable the performance overlay, tap on the three dots here, statistics. Okay. Server's hardware is not shown here. Name of the GPU. Game started, but the display is all messed up. I'll just change the in-game settings. I've seen this happening before. Display. Display mode set to window, yeah, full screen. Fix the display. Presets. I'll just use balance. Resolution 1920 by 1200 pixels. Vsync off. Medium to high settings. That's it. Start the game. We are in. Check out the input response using my Cosmic Pad Stellaris gamepad. Ping is on the higher side, almost 200 milliseconds. But I'll be honest, game is playable. Not the ideal experience. Can't do much about the input delay. It mostly depends on our proximity to the servers of the cloud service provider. This is EU Northwest server. Oh my god. What was that? Saw someone move in the background. I was saying this is EU Northwest server being accessed from India. Looking for some ammo. Creatures are everywhere. Got it. Mine. I'll take it. Gunpowder. Rusted scrap. I have a shotgun as well. Out of ammo. Just access my inventory. Item crafted, there you go. Just use my gun. Enter the fields. Hearing some noise. Don't remember the controls name block. Break. Knife as well. Creature is nearby. There it is. Oh my god. Lunge at me. Pace FPS is around 90. Stream FPS 60. Ping 200 milliseconds. Yeah, there's the feature. Barely visible. Needed to reload at the first possible time. One down, another one popped up. Use my hand. We're still live. Yeah, 
okay, features in this game are bullet sponges. Another creature, three of them. Good to see Resident Evil Village getting added to G Force now. I hope Resident Evil 4 remake will also get added to the service. This creature is still alive. Die already, there you go. Now I'll be trying out the next game. We'll be running Elden Ring using Boost Ride. Need to have the paid membership of Boost Ride in order to play any game. Also need to own the game. They don't have any servers in Asia region. Their servers are available in US and Europe regions only. Play Elden Ring, install and play. Let's go. Need to sign into my Steam account. I'll just scan the QR code using Steam's Android application. You can see the location of the server. Keep. Accept the agreement. Steam sale is live now. Okay, game started automatically. They ran the network test for me. Got a very high latency, 205 milliseconds. That's not good at all. Measured bandwidth, 72 megabits per second. There will be some input delay. Here resolution, full HD. Using the high preset. Ray tracing disabled, start the game. There is a character, check out the input response. Yeah, there is some noticeable input delay. I can't recommend the service if you are based in India. Shouldn't be a problem if you are based in US or Europe. I just summon torrent. Alright. Looking for the furnace golem. Yeah, there it is. I'll be honest, game does not seem to be running at 60 fps. Gameplay is a bit choppy. Game does have some performance issues on PC. Scorpions. Just run around the furnace golem. But good to see game being playable. I'm not aware of any other cloud service that can run Elden Ring. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's going to attack us. The moment we get close to it. There you go. Ay ay ay. That goes my right. I'm going to die. Please don't kill me. Don't have the right weapon to take out this creature. At least for the time being. Okay, I'll just use my flask to summon torrent. <laughs> Got whacked. So now I'll be testing the next game. We'll be running FC24 using xCloud. We'll be using XP Play Android application to run xCloud. Just need to have Game Pass Ultimate subscription or to play FC24. Don't need to own the game. It's the Xbox Series X or X version of the game. Xcloud is not available in India. So I'll be using Microsoft's Japan based server. Show you a short match, kick off things. 30 FPS during the cutscenes. Jump into the match. Alright, the match is going on. Here is my character. They stole the ball. I got it again. I'll be honest. Input delay is not an issue. You can definitely play the game using the Japan based server from India. I have a chance. Image quality is looking crisp. Definitely full HD. Yeah, got it. 60 FPS during the gameplay. Camera is shaking. This is the replay. 30 FPS during cutscenes happens even in the PC version. I've tested this game on my ROG LA. Good performance on xCloud. Graphics look gorgeous. So it's 
Yeah, the mall now. Just make sure you run the series as a X version of the game. Standard Xbox One version is also available on X Cloud. That's it with the video guys. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.